Hello and welcome to uh, JVM architecture specification video. So today we are going to learn heap. Uh, before going to heap, let's have a quick recap what we learn in lesson 1. So in JVM architecture, I have a class loader subsystem which is responsible for loading class 5. Then I have, I have various subroutines modules like uh, method area, heap, stack, register, native method stacks, which in turn talks to uh, execution engines and uh, it has one uh, native method interface for all the extents and they will all use the runtime area or we can refer as runtime data area. So in this video we will run if. Okay, so let's start the JVM discussion on the heap. So heap is the area where all the uh, memory allocation happen for the objects. So this uh, uh, this this area is used by the uh, hotspot systems, hotspot machines, and uh, these are controlled by the generations like uh, uh, generation like uh, how the objects are going to live, whether they are going to live shortly, long. So based on that, heap is divided into two generations. First one is called. Uh, uh, young generation, second one is called the tenure generation. In young generations, objects are created, they are very shortly lived and uh, they, they are immediately garbage collected. And in the tenure generation, uh, so let us assume that you are working on the 32-bit machines and uh, in 32-bit machines, uh, memory cannot be allocated more than 4 GB. So if you want to move larger space, then we have to move for 64-bit machine. Let's say you have allocated a uh, 2GB RAM to run Java. Okay. The process size is equal to 2GB. This 2GB area will be divided by the two part. 1 GB for the and uh, another 1 GB for non -E. Okay. So this further 1 GB will be divided by the two part. First one we'll call uh, young generation. The other one we'll call tenured generation. Okay. So the rest of the one GB will further divide it into two parts. The first one will call the pound space, then and the next, the other section will be native, native libraries. Okay. So young generation is further divided into one more area called Eden. Okay, and it has survivor ratios. So these two are survivor ratios SR. Okay, and it will hold some extra virtual memory. So the tenure generation. Uh, will have also a virtual space okay tenure generation is also referred as the old generation so all the object most of the tuning part will come here okay in the survivor ratio side okay when we do the JVM tuning we will mostly focusing on the survivor ratio in hidden space, all the short-lived object will leave here. 
Okay, let's say you have created an object 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And they will, they will garbage collected from here. Okay. If they are not garbage collected, they will move to the this is virtual space here. Let's say these are not garbage collected. Okay. They will move here. And finally, they will move to the tenure gem from here to here. As the garbage collector work on the uh, mark and see where uh, it's altogether different uh, algorithm. We'll discuss uh, in, in uh, another set of videos. So this is the heap area. So young generation, the process size, it's two GB, then one GB if you if you look at one GB for heap. So it is divided into two parts, young generation and new generation. Tenure generation referred as the old generation also. And uh, next, next one GB will become for non heap area, where firm space, uh, firm space gen will come like uh, uh, class loadings. Okay, uh, and this is the pure native area.